Hello and welcome to the channel. Wombat here bringing you another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Um, it's been a few days since my last episode. I think about three or four days. It's been a busy couple days though. Um, I logged in a few days ago and looking around our outpost, there were some things missing. We had three storage bins missing. Uh, the campfire was missing, our cooking pot was missing, but everything on the outside of the outpost was perfectly fine. Come to find out, um, a dinosaur, I don't know if it was a player's dinosaur or just one of the wild ones, managed to clip itself into the outpost. Um, you see that from time to time, dinosaurs, pieces of them will be hanging through the wall. Apparently one of them did that somehow through the bottom, and... Uh, started destroying things inside the house without actually destroying any of the walls or anything. Everything was still in perfect condition. So, I was going to start gathering some stuff to get that fixed. I walk outside and the area has been overrun with a ton of dinosaurs. Uh, a lot of non-aggressive ones you don't have to worry about, stegos and trikes and whatnot. But there were also quite a few dilos, uh, rafters, carnos, spinos, and can't remember the name, but the giant bird thing. So literally every time I stepped outside the outpost, I would get the door closed, walk a couple feet, and then die. So with some work, we got most of those cleared out. It's safe enough to walk around out there now. And um, we decided we need to go ahead and take some precautions here at our outpost. And specifically, step outside here. This area down here. Uh, it was apparently really easy for something to go inside and damage things through the floor. So, we're going to put some wooden spikes out, and I've done a little bit of gathering. Uh, I don't know how much I actually have enough to make. The goal is to at least keep the bigger dinosaurs that can reach through the floor out of there. So, as you can see, I've been we've been gathering some stuff. Uh, not a whole, whole lot, but enough to do probably, I'd guess, six or seven wooden spikes. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot, see how many we can do. Yep, seven. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and craft all seven of these. And then we'll go place some around. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do them extremely close to each, cut each other. At least not for right now. I won't be able to do a solid wall until I can gather some more materials. But small gaps is fine. It's the bigger dinosaurs we need to keep out of there. The little ones won't necessarily be able to get through the floor like that one did. So once these are done crafting, we'll go ahead and get started putting these down. Alright, and now I know what I really need to continue making them is going to be wood. That's what I'm short on, and probably some more fiber. Yeah, I, I don't. I lost count of how many times I died. To be perfectly honest. Ah, uh, uh, shoot. I'm not messing with that saber tooth right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. Um, go up top, see if I can see what level it is, and do what I need to do to get him out of the way. Uh, we'll be back shortly. And we're back. Um, I. It's been a few minutes, and I think the saber tooth is gone. The problem with saber tooth is they can linger and still be very, very quiet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop all my all my inventory into this storage chest. I'll stick my head outside, close the door immediately behind me, do a quick walk around, and uh, if he's still there, I'll get his attention and lead him away and just let him kill me. And that way, hopefully, he'll stay away. Uh, wherever he kills me, hopefully, he'll stay. Alright, so that's close. Oh, there he is. Alright, see? I kind of figured he was still around. So, we're just going to go way out here. Far enough away that Hopefully he doesn't come back for a little while. Long enough to put the spikes down, at least. <laughs> yeah, he's still coming. Come on. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Get on up there. Come on. 
<laughs> Punch him in the nose. Actually, oh, thought maybe he was. Yeah, he's not stuck. Okay. Thought he was stuck enough that maybe I could just punch away until he died, but. Or at least goes unconscious. That doesn't seem to work, though. He got out of that little stuck spot. Oh, one of the birds. These guys. These guys are my bane. I have died more times from them than probably any, anything else in this game. Alright, let's just punch away. Come on. What are you doing? Get up here. I seriously doubt I'll be able to kill him with my fists at this point, but... I can't even hit the damn thing. I'm gonna try. I kinda wish I had kept a spear. There we go. This is what I actually want. I want him to kill him. And then he'll stay there in my body. I think I'm doing more damage to myself. Surprised I'm not dead yet. I should be. There we go. Well, apparently I killed myself by hitting him. Interesting. Alright, so... I'm gonna spawn back at the outpost real quick. Grab just the spikes, leave everything else in the storage bin. I'm gonna try to throw those up real quick. At least that way my death wasn't for nothing. Alright, so... I think... Put one... There. Eventually, when I get enough materials, I'll come back in and do another layer all the way around as well. But for now... It's better than what we did have. Scorpion. <sighs> yeah, these things are just running wild around here. Everything is. This was a pretty good spot when I first uh, got here to the outpost. There were only a couple things that were around that attacked. And then this last week or so, things have just really started taking over. But, actually, you know, let's go take a look at this copper over there. Obviously, I still have a bit of a gap here that I need to fill in. But, I think it's a good start. Um, probably should have pulled this one out a little bit more. But, as I said before, I'll come back and do another layer outside that once I finish this, this layer. And that'll also cover up our well. There's the bird. That thing. Anyways, let me get back inside. I think I'm gonna pick up my items. And, uh... Probably gonna gather some more stuff. Try to make another... Maybe 10 or 15 of those, I think, is really what I'm gonna need. Uh... Yeah, I think 10 or 15 should probably be good. 
So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for now, and we'll be back. And we're back. Uh, I've done some more gathering. I uh, had enough to make about five, five more spike walls. Uh, I think that's enough to go ahead and close off this first layer, which will probably be good enough for today, I think. Uh, let's see. Drop these down real quick. Oh, did not intend to put it that way, but whatever, it works. Kind of moved at the last second there and threw it off. I don't want to put it too close to our ramp, because our dinosaurs do use that. There we go. That'll fix that problem. <laughs> Mostly. I think. Oh! Nope, don't squeeze in there. Doesn't work. Just testing that out. Alright, so I've got two more. I think I'll go ahead and drop one further away from the outpost. Let's go ahead and start that second layer. And then I will come back. Probably tomorrow and finish that layer up. Uh, hopefully I didn't put these too close to the ramp. Apples might have problems getting out of here with that. We'll see. You can always destroy it and remake it. Not that big of a deal. Uh, at the same time, I did do a little bit of farming for some meat. Went and killed a couple things. The one really bad thing about this area where the outpost is is it's very cold here, which does drain your food levels extremely fast. Uh, I've also got several meats spread out through all the uh, storage bins here, trying to let that spoil so I can make some narcotics. Just today, it's not that much, but I've gotten eight so far, and about another yeah, I'll have about 15 once this meat spoils. And I think my next order of business is to make a slingshot. I don't have one of those yet. I can learn it, or I've learned it, but I don't have one. So, go ahead and make that. Drop all these items over here. Slingshots come in handy. Shoot things from a distance, obviously. Alright, and I'm going to need some stones for ammo. Fire has gone out, so I'll go ahead and take this meat. Uh, leave it here to spoil. Hopefully nobody comes in and lights the fire. I want that meat to spoil. So, I think I'm going to go out and hunt for a little bit, of, a little bit more meat. kind of scope out and see what we got going on down here today. I've kind of done a little bit around the beach, but not a whole, whole lot. There were... Oh, yeah, there's a scorpion. So I'm curious... Curious if I could take him out with a slingshot. Uh, looks like he's going to go for the trike. And the trike just poofed in fear, I think. Oh, hell. I'm not sure if I hit the trike or the... Okay, well that one doesn't hit it. Oh! Ouch. Come on, come on, I'm stuck. What kind of garbage is that? Now, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get eaten. Uh, I think it was the poison that did that. Yeah. Yeah. So... Wasn't ready for him yet, obviously. Shouldn't have shot at him. Alright. Try to make this, get the chit. Yeah, well, I can't really get that if I don't kill the damn thing. I'm gonna at least see if my stuff's still there. Uh, 
Oh, only oh, level 12, he says. Yes, only level 12. It took one sting, and I passed out. So. So, Geo, I think, is going to come this way. <laughs> Where is my stuff? There we go. There's my stuff right there. Okay, so is that one alive or dead? Shoot. I hear him skittering his feet behind me. I'm gonna try to get my stuff. Nope, he's gonna get me too slow. Oh! Oh! Tranquilized yet again. Alright, maybe. <laughs> nope, I was hoping I could at least get inside the out uh, the outpost. Watch him sting me over and over again. And, uh, yeah, okay, I'm dead. I don't even know if I, let's see if I can respawn. the beach <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back once I can respawn there at the outpost. I will be back. All right, so oddly enough, I tried to respawn at home base and it respawned me here at the outpost. That was odd. So, Geo is here now. Let me get all my stuff. over here already. <laughs> yeah, he's here. And he killed it before I even got here. Alright, well that's nice. I love this. These things are dead, but they're still moving around. <laughs> uh, the flying ones are the same way. My combat. I don't see anything. Oh, he's killing stuff. Okay. Yeah, the flying ones are the same way. It's funny, they'll be dead, and you'll still hear them buzzing, and you'll still see them flapping their wings. It kind of amuses me a bit. So it looks <laughs> like he already gathered stuff from the trike and the other scorpion. Alright, cool. So. At this point, I don't remember what I was going to do. I think I think I was going to go hunting for meat, but I don't really. Eh, sounds like a good idea. Even if it wasn't, we're going to go hunt for some meat. Now there's quite a bit of stuff over here. Oh, got a piranha. Those are always fun. Oh! Easy to kill. It's just annoying. Oh, that was quick. He didn't last very long. Alright. Always gotta pay attention to your O2 levels. I do not want to drown here. Alright, so... Gotta be careful, because a lot of times over here I'll see uh, Carnos and Raptors and Dilos and Packs. Packs of Dilos are never fun. Right, something's bugged under the house again. 
<sighs> Never ending. They need to fix that glitch. Alright, so I can kill this guy for his meat, but he's gonna run, and I don't feel like chasing. So I'm gonna find something that's gonna hopefully not run as much. And here's something I haven't actually killed yet. Oh, these things. Is he coming to me? Yep. I hate these. So many of them, I probably would have been fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die. So I'll just back close to this rock so I know where my stuff is. <laughs> so Geo's asking me for help, and I'm almost dead. See what help I can give. Uh, I probably shouldn't have gone to the water because now I, I'm gonna drown. Ah! All right, so that was fun. Such terrible luck today. Alright, so I'm gonna try to make a slingshot. Um, again. No missing fiber. Alright, so we'll go deal with this little bug. I usually use spears when this happens, but. Eh. We'll see if the slingshot works out. Take 100 stones. Alright. Forgot to put that there. Well, that makes it a little harder to get under, but I guess I can do what he did and crawl under. <laughs> Alright, that was easy. Man, those <laughs> bugs are just getting annoying. <sighs> So I think this episode's gone on long enough. Um, one sec here. All right. So today we did get our spikes up, or at least you know <laughs> enough for now. Um, I'm gonna go finish making my narco or my narcotics. And then I think. Yeah, we're going to call this video, uh, we're going to go ahead and bring it to an end here. Thanks for joining. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.